Hello, you are back again with Liu Yanquan. Last time we met with Michael, we spoke about the vision of the pasta. Today we will go more in depth to learn about the science behind it. The actors in new system triggering aftermers, the first project that the pasta will be funding. Michael, great to have you back. Chen, the pleasure is all mine. Michael, can you explain to us first of all what an aptamer is and why they are so intriguing? Aptamers are single strands of DNA or RNA that can be made target specific to a certain molecule of importance. They are loosely analogous to chemical antibodies. However, they possess a number of advantages. What amount of attack does this drug rely on when treating cancer? Cancer is able to wreak havoc once it determines how to evade and weaken the immune system. This still redirects the immune system towards the cancer, effectively decamouflaging it. In this model, the Vista compound is attached to a molecule that the immune system is innately attracted to. It devours this molecule. So the aptamer targets a specific antigen expressed by the cancer and in doing so directs the immune system towards it through the use of the molecule located on the other side of the aptamer, the molecule that the immune system eats. Other methods of attack involve targeting immune checkpoint blockades in order to release the full potential of the immune system to fight cancer. Successful immunotherapy involves redirecting the immune system as well as switching back on parts of the immune system that the cancer has hijacked. Immunotherapy is a hot topic for cancer treatment now. How does Vista differ from current therapies? With cancer therapy, there is no magic bullet. There needs to be a complementary and synergistic approach. Current immunotherapy often relies on the use of monoclonal antibodies. There are a number of issues with the use of antibodies. One, they are very expensive and laborious to develop. And two, there are toxicity issues. These toxicity issues are further compounded when combinatorial or cocktail therapies are required. Cancer isn't something that we get. It develops through our own cells, via mutations. This means that we need an arsenal of weapons to be able to effectively treat cancer in different individuals. Aptomers pose very little threat when it comes to toxicity. This gives them a great advantage when treatment is required over an extended period of time or when combinatorial therapy is needed. Often at times, cancer therapy fails due to dose-limiting toxicity. With Vista, this problem is greatly reduced. This gives us the ability to take a stronger mode of action in fighting cancer. You have spoken before about the importance of nomenclature when it comes to cancer. Can you explain that a little more? We need to change our thinking about how we define cancer. It really makes no sense to say stomach cancer or breast cancer. These locational descriptions were coined before molecular biochemistry really took off. By defining the genetics or antigens expressed by the cancer, we can then begin to better treat cancer cells. At what stage of cancer should this have been prescribed? The earlier in the stages of cancer development, the better. Often, doctors detect cancer at a stage where the cancer has grown substantially. At this stage, the body's immune system is already weakened. On one hand, diagnostics needs to improve. On the other, a more proactive strategy should be taken. A more proactive tactic at earlier stages of development, or even preemptively, could lead to better results. Cancer shouldn't be thought of as a noun, but more as a verb, cancering. All of us probably cancer a few times throughout our lives. Most of the time, the immune system is able to handle the problem. For the times it can't, treatment should be assisting the immune system in these efforts, not destroying it like what is done with traditional chemotherapy. Earlier, you mentioned the price when it comes to current immunotherapy options on the market. How will this product be different? Developing monoclonal antibodies is orders of magnitude more expensive than aptamers. Aptamers, once developed, 
can be synthesized and chemically modified relatively easily. Also, the development process is significantly shorter. This allows for our scientists to reach the validation stage much more quickly. This is particularly critical for applications such as an outbreak of a new strand of virus. My team and I strongly believe that developing new drugs with an astronomical price tag does not benefit the medical community. We need effective and affordable medicine. The best medicine should not be reserved only for the wealthy. With current immunotherapy, most people can't afford one drug. If they need to take two to three, they simply can't do it. We cannot continue to throw out the phrase, war on cancer, when we continue to develop mediocre drugs with ridiculous price tags. Michael, thank you so much for your time. I have learned a lot today and I hope our audience has as well. Thank you. I look forward to our next discussion.